This is an excerpt from my memoir. Ma'am, who passed away? More than 40 years ago, when I just arrived at Brandeis University from Beijing, China, I had to learn American English, which is different from the British English that I learned in China, while struggling to survive in an academically rigorous environment. As a young woman, I had severe menstrual cramps and did not use any painkillers. Compounded by the stress and pressure, I fainted in the dorm's bathroom's common area outside the shower stalls one afternoon. Surprisingly and fortunately, there was no one there. I came to a few moments later, then stumbled into my dorm room. I was scared, did not know what to do, whom to call, so I called the campus police. Somehow, I mistook the American way of describing fainted as passed away instead of passed out. Distressfully, I called, I just passed away in the bathroom. My tummy feels a lot of pain. Please come. A few minutes later, in came this heavily built white police officer with all the beeping noises from the radio transmissions on his belt with a thick Bostonian accent. He asked seriously, ma'am, who passed away? Sitting up in bed with all my clothes on, I said, I did. I passed away in the bathroom just now and I'm still feeling sick. He did not laugh, but looked at me straight faced with lots of compassion and genuine care. Do you want me to take you to the infirmary to see a doctor? I replied, uh, maybe I think I will feel better. My stomach pain is getting a little better now. He asked me to rest and said that if I still needed a ride to the other side of the campus where the infirmary was, to just call again. Some months later, I realized that I misused pass away for pass out. Damn it, I should have just said I fainted. I felt embarrassed. More than 40 years later, I'm now laughing to tears, probably what the officer did as well in his police car. It took me 40 years to laugh at myself now.